Hi, this is Shadi. Today I want to discuss something that is very old and still present in Judo and personally I feel there's a lot of untapped potential when it comes to Judo's kata. There's a lot to be learned and today I want to show you something that truly separates Judo from wrestling. There's a lot in common but there is an approach to Judo's throws that can differ from wrestling and today's throw is none other than ura nage it is found in a lot of judo's uh, throwing today but also in the nage no kata but when it comes to the kata form it is highly different so let's see it here it might look like a belly to belly suplex but there is a hidden detail that completely changes everything so it doesn't have to necessarily come from the strike it can be a deep grip down your back because as you know there is no striking so here you see you see there is posting on the lower abdomen but at the same time the other hand goes uh, like uh, creating a belt so it's not like a hug or a belt created with both hands so you press upwards as you are uh, squatting up so you squat their body weight at the same time you press with the arm and you keep the belt hand around them so you have two movements in one you have the pressing upwards and at the same time the squatting movement and then you let them go so um, you can keep control or you can just completely catapult them to the back which completely differs from wrestling in my opinion so let's take a look at a few uh, body locks from the old greco-roman wrestling so you have this one which is very um, basic and safe so you create a double underhook and a belt grip around them and then you turn as you are throwing them for the pin it's very safe but you keep them completely connected and um, the impl amplitude of the throw is a lot less than what we saw in judo because of the lack of the pressing movement now another thing that they do is you know your back arches strengthening of the neck and here this is your belly to belly suplex there's no quite like a lift it's more of a back arch and then landing on the top of your head hence why they strengthen their neck but uh, in terms of again safety and amplitude of the throw it's nothing compared to the uh, judo throw so uh, as you can see here uh, in front of you the judo throw you have the hand that's pressing on the lower abdomen which allows you to press upwards and also you have the hand around the waist which keeps them tight and close to you so anyone trying to reach down your back um, you can easily perform this throw so um, again no gi needed uh, when it comes to a striking uh, context you can easily uh, use this and at the same time you can disconnect at any time you don't lock your hands you don't you know hug them closely to you you just keep them close but the way the hands are put it's very easy to disengage but at the same time it's very easy to hoist them upwards and then sacrifice yourself backwards which creates a devastating throw so you have the full range of control whether you want to completely disconnect or um, you want to keep them safe uh, and close to you so this pressing movement that you do with the hand in the lower abdomen is something that's untapped and frankly nobody uses them so we know that russians and georgians are very uh keen on uranage but um, the way they do it it's very wrestling oriented but it's nice to see that there is some things in the judo way or the old jujitsu way that differs from wrestling and it's very fighting oriented keep in mind these are from the samurai days and they are designed to destroy and they are designed to create the most efficient throw as possible while also giving you the choice to control so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content only um, your but of course my main content will always be here on this channel so don't feel obliged this was shady and thank you for listening